All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a punch. Big leg kick land. Visibly limping here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yes. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Here's the kick blocked by Slice. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Take down attempt is good. Both fighters back to their feet now. And now he's got that tight clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big kick land. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Leg kick. Ten seconds to go in the round. Good combination of jabs for him there. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin. All right, second round is underway. Okay, Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Straight punch land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job to land a straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, blocks the shot. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Wow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Down the landing clean. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, his opponent 
squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so he postures up here, and he's out. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Powerful leg kick land. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Big head kick land. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a pig. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds as a little bit trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's hurt bad. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like oh, he's, like he's transitioning on. You can't. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With corner, is able to relay that message to their fighter better in the team round. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. and a great performance by this young man. So let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Morgan is called to stop for this contest at 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO Kimball! Slow!